Hi, my name is Kate Moon. I'm 13 years old and I've been in Forge for three years now. Today I'll be talking about five hoof problems. Have you ever wondered what is wrong with your horse's hoof? Well, there's a possible chance that you will find out more information on what could be wrong. First, we have abscesses. Abscesses occur when bacteria gets trapped between the sensitive laminar tissue layer that bonds the horse's capsule to the coffin bone and the, ho and the hoof wall of or sole. The bacteria creates pus, which builds up and creates pressure behind the hoof wall or sole. This pressure can become, become extremely painful. The quickest way to relieve the pain is to drain the buildup, which is like popping a large pimple. Draining, bandaging, and keeping the hoof clean are key to treating an abscess. It may take several weeks for it to heal depending on the infection. Routine hoof care and keeping your horse's area clean can prevent abscesses. Hoof cracks. Cracks may form in the horse's hoof wall in a vertical direction. Cracks usually occur in unbalanced or dry feet. There are a type of cracks. For example, a grass crack. A grass crack starts from the ground up. It is usually very thin and does not go deep into the wall. These cracks can occur for many reasons, including ground condition changes, wet to dry, poor nutrition, and lack of exercise. As, exer as, exercises, as exercise increases healthy blood flow to the hoof. Foot bruises. Most bruises show up on the sole of the foot. Although a horse can bruise the glitches, the toe, and a frock, causes of the bruise can range from encounters with rocks, snow, ice on the trail, and many more. Improper trimming and shoeing can cause bruises. A short heel might lead to bruising of the frock. Taking too much off the sole can leave it thin and prone to bruising, and a long toe can put too much pressure on the toe and result with bruising. Next, we have thrush. Thrush is a very common bacterial infection that occurs to on the hoof of a horse, except specifically in the region of the frog. Thrush occurs naturally in the animal's environment, especially in wet muddy or unsanitary conditions such as an unclean stall. Thrush grows best with low oxygen. Horses with dead cliffs, cliffs or narrow or contracted heels are more at risk of developing thrush. The most obvious sign is usually the odor that occurs when picking out the feet. The infected area will be black in color and will be easily and will easily break or crumble when scraped with a hoof pick. When picking the horse's hoofs around thrush areas, the difference between healthy and infected areas can be seen when white and gray tissue, healthy frog, is surrounding a dark, smelly, infected area. Treatment includes twice daily picking at the feet, taking special care to clean up the two cotyledons collateral grooves and the central succulus. The hoofs may then be scrubbed using a detergent or disinfectant in warm water. Then we have white line disease. The white line of the hoof can be seen by looking at the sole of the hoof. The area between the outside hoof wall and where it meets the sole is the white line. When this becomes damaged, it allows fungus or bacteria to invade and separate the layers of the hoof wall. When that happens, it can spread around the hoof and, and end up inside of the wall to eat away at the hoof, making a horse very lame. Barriers can help with this. And another example of wetland disease is a fungal infection of the horse's hoof. 
as the name suggests, it, it attacks the white line, which connects the sole to the hoof wall. It is sometimes mistaken for hoof wall separation disease, but it is not to be confused. It is not genetic nor as severe. White line disease changes the typical light color of the white line to a black or gray color. Lameness is often not present unless the disease is advanced. The de disease may locate in the toe area of the hoof. White line disease is most often seen in moist, humid areas with la large rainfall. It can be treated by applying borax or bleach, but that's not always successful. So another treatment is to cut away the hoof wall over the affected area. And my sources were thehorse.com and Google. Thank you for watching.